what do you both say to the general public who see different things in the news and say, hmm, that's too painful, I don't want to watch that, I don't want to go there. But they know that something needs to be done. And mm. obviously, you know, both of you have ventured past that, you're able to do that, and you're part of photo, right? So you have your own yeah. organization. What do you say to people that, I don't want to see that, I can't handle that? I, I think the film is done in such a way, Gabby does a great job of breaking it up with light moments, with some, some humor. And also ends hopefully with the former trainers looking at wild killer whales, um, as opposed to like another movie that I love, The Cove, which is really hard for even me to watch. And we were with Louis last night, and we talked about that. But you know, this movie I think is more easily digestible. And I really, you know, I think Gabby mentions frequently that her twin sons have seen the film. I mean, I think mm -hmm. it's a film that everyone can see, and I think that kind of distinguishes it maybe a little bit from The Cove, which is just hard to watch the kind of the horrific scenes in that film. In, in this case, you're kind of rooting for the animals, if that makes sense. And mm -hmm. you see a little bit of trainer injury, but it's like, you know, it's easier to handle for me at least. And the intention of it was very much uh, with this film, was, was with Blackfish, was to, um, just as, as Jeffrey is suggesting, the intention of the film is to, is, is such that children should be able to see it. And you know, you're going to feel sadness or you're going to feel confusion, but every good documentary leaves you with a little bit of anger, uh, a little bit of confusion and some questions, and then some hope. So I'm hoping that this is sort of something for the whole family um, in its nature. So.